Street Fest. Uh, before we go ahead and do this, why don't we, uh, Don, want to speak about the Street Fest? I know there are other people here who want to speak too. So well, okay, but I mean, this is way you go first and then. Okay, well, actually, Martha Fraze is another. Okay, it's fine. I don't want to. And we're here uh, to receive permission from the town council to have Street Fest on Green Street. Um, and I think there's going to be some discussion about that. So we are here to, to listen to that discussion, to answer questions anyone might have about Street Fest. Um, to, to our goal is to be sensitive to to what uh, what will be best for the town mm -hmm. in the current environment. Thank you. So we hope that uh, people will be able to speak up and we can have a discussion, and then we'll make. Um, I guess you all will make a decision. Um, I think there's a misconception that um, the SBA is like totally against Street Fest. There are a lot of issues with Street Fest with the downtown businesses. Um, I don't think the SBA has ever said publicly that it is against Street Fest. Well, what we would like to discuss is that the direct impact coming down German Street for 12 hours or 14 hours out of the day, um, when the same thing, the same event could be probably just as successful right here in front of this building, the downtown businesses that, that benefit from Street Fest directly, I think, would have the same kind of business from Street Fest. Um, but I, I really want to put an end to, to this misconception that the SBA has said publicly, you know, we're totally against Street Fest and it needs to not happen. And I'm, I'm sensing that in this room, and I, think, I don't think that is not true. So that's not accurate. That is not accurate. I've been but, hearing it all week. And and it's, you know, it has created quite a bit of antagonism, and it's not true. Meredith's right. I mean, at least on the Street Fest Committee, we know that, that the SBA is not this monolithic, you know, entity that's opposed to Street Fest. So we, we, we know that. Um, and we're happy to work with the businesses. Um, you know, we've given the town a great party for four years in a row. We've worked with the town. We've paid for extra police on the day of Street Fest. We've cleaned the streets. Uh, we, when we asked to put the vendor booths down the middle of the street so that, that the uh, visitors would be channeled between vendor booths and shops, the chief of police told us we couldn't do that because we had to leave room for emergency vehicles. So regretfully, we complied with the town's uh, direction. Still thousands of people are coming from, to Shepherdstown every year, discovering the town and they keep coming back to it, uh, visiting the restaurants and the shops. And the question, again, appears to be, should we be on German Street? And it's worth noting that when we were on King Street, the, t some of the businesses in town complained that all the parking was taken up by people who were attending Street Fest. I'm just a community member who's been following in the newspaper, and I live uh, two blocks away. Um, I really enjoy the Street Fest. I think it's one of the beauties of a town like Shepherdstown where the community comes together right in the heart of the community for a special event just like May Day and other theater festival that brings people together or other Easter egg hunts, the parades um, I think celebrations and parades of this sort and festivals are things that um, bring the community alive and bring us together in ways that are different than these official meetings that we go to or business things that we do um, and I do think that there are creative ways for any groups to come together and to work together. So as a community member who has attended it for the past several years with my children all day long, um, I was supporting both the restaurants and the vendors in town and the businesses as well as the people that were new to the street fest. And I hope to see it to continue as a tradition in our community. We sell hot dogs every year. Last year we made over $1,200. And, uh, and a personal note, my granddaughter, five years old, was here this weekend, and we were flying kites, and she said, Grandma, are we going to go to Shepherdstown uh, again when it was real windy and you had to stop selling hot dogs? I love that place. So even from a five-year-old who lives in Silver Spring, she wants to come every year to Street Fest. It is fun, so I support it. Thank you. Well, I represent... 
We've, my sister and I here have vended for the past two years. What do you vend? Um, I make silkscreen t-shirts and other art, and she does stained glass jewelry. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and I also represent the Blue Moon, because I've worked there for the past ten years. And it's our best day at the Blue Moon. Mm -hmm. Every year it's happened. I make my mortgage at the booth that day. So <laughs> it's important to me, like I plan ahead uh, I for the summer. <laughs> make that extra mortgage payment. <laughs> yeah. And just talking to the people, how many people come from far away to that, last year especially. And what a good time, and the impression it made um, for the town, to them. I think it's something we need to really promote.